All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, May 21st. That's right. I'm still away in Burgundy right now, actually in Chablis today, and uh, through the magic of television, though I'm still here with you on Wine Watch TV, getting ready to promote another great event at Strip Steak down at the Fountain Blue Hotel with our good friend D. Lynn Proctor. He is the ambassador for Penfolds, the winemaking ambassador. Heck, he's actually worked a couple of harvests down there with Peter Gago, the top dog now for Penfolds. And we have had winemaker dinners with the last two head dogs at winemakers and uh, only Don Ditter and the great Max Schubert we've not done events with. That's because, well... They came along a lot time, a long time ago. They weren't with us when we started doing wine events at Cafe Max. John Duvall, um, our first winemaker, we did events with there, and he created uh, well one of the wines there, the RW Tree, the Red Wine Trial. Max Schubert created Grange, that's Australia's most famous wine, and Dr. Penfolds, well, he started about 100 years before that, in the 1850s, when he moved to the Adelaide region and uh, started Penfolds Winery. And Penfolds has been through a lot of changes since then. It's now owned by a large corporation, but still considered the iconic wine of Australia. We're going to be trying a bunch of stuff, including one of my favorite wines from Penfolds, the Riesling, to start things out. And, you know, these guys at Strip Steak always do an excellent job. And, you know, like I said, each winemaker has made their contribution to Penfolds history. And these guys, the 389, the Baby Grange, they make a wide variety of wines. Most of them are blends. And uh, this is one of the things, you know, to me, great wines. You have the ability to make better wines every year when you have the ability to blend not only different varietals but different regions together and uh, Penfold's greatest wine range always a blend of several different regions and um, usually got a little Cabernet in it but mostly Shiraz and like I said one of the world's iconic wines we've also got the RWT the McGill Estate one of my favorite wines the only single vineyard wine one of the only single vineyard wines that they do at Penfold's and that's from the original vineyard that Dr. Penfold's bought uh, in near Adelaide and some great stuff will be drank on this evening. Like I said, we have got one of the maestros there, D. Lynn Proctor, will be conducting the tasting with us, and uh, I'll be back fresh from uh, Burgundy and Champagne, so we'll have plenty of stories about the trip, I'm sure. For those of you that decide to join me, check it out. Everything we're going to be eating and drinking for our Penfolds Wine Dinner at Michael Mina Strip Steak in the Fountain Blue with D. Lynn Proctor. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.